Hey guys, this is Greg Hinky from Sharky Scuba. I'm one of the instructors over at the shop, and uh, I specialize in photography stuff. And uh, we just got the new uh, Sea Life Sport Diver in. So I'm excited to play with this, seeing how everybody's moving to using their phones, and uh, uh, looking to get more people interested in underwater photography. And, and this is not the starting point. Uh, this is towards the end point. So uh, this is a great option. So uh, we picked one of these up. I'm going to go through it real quick and then show you a few features and uh, hopefully you'll find some interest in it. So we'll start off, comes with a nice hard sided case, the dual zipper, take out some of the accessories here, and then we'll get out the housing. It's got a foam cut, perfect fit for all the equipment so it all stays nice and uh, tidy. So we'll start off, we've got a bag of size uh, adjustable fitters for the uh, for the different types of iPhones. This thing will use the iPhone uh, 7 all the way up through all of the 12 versions that just released. Uh, I've got a 12 uh, Pro coming that I'll be using with this. So we've got those. The box only says it goes through uh, an 11 but they have updated their website and it does go through all of the 12 phones. We've got an extra um, back seal for it and then there's an additional o-ring seal for the vacuum port so that you get both of those with it we've got our manual and then we've got some other goodies in here we've got a portable vacuum pump for uh, pulling a vacuum on this and then we've got a few other things we've got a plastic tool for removing the o-rings got a tube of silicone for keeping your o-rings lubricated properly got a strap set of batteries and a mo sample moisture muncher now you'll need to get more of these so you might consider ordering a package of these when you get the camera but you are good at least for a little while out the door with this uh, you can buy a package of 10 of these they're $20 uh, is the suggested retail price so we get started off First thing we're going to do, we're going to put our battery in it. We'll get the batteries loaded up and we're going to put the moisture muncher in it. And it's got a nice little snap place. You can see right here, batteries fit in nicely. It's got a removable cover, two AAA batteries. The moisture muncher just pops into a little socket that holds it in place. You've got all your contact buttons in here, your on off switch, you've got a couple alarm lights. You've got a moisture sensor down at the bottom, and then you've got your lens. You've got a spring to hold pressure on your phone, and then here's the removable tabs that hold your phone in place based on the size. Now if you go into the manual, I think it's on page 16, it's got a table of all the different uh, sizes and which phones they apply to for the iPhone family. So that's nice, you don't have to try and guess and figure out which one's the right one. Now this has got a pretty, pretty sturdy housing. O-ring sits in a nice channel around the side here. You can see it came to us already lubricated. So if you ever had to need to change your O-ring, you'd take your plastic and you'd leach in there and then you'd be able to pull it off. Now you never want to use something sharp like a screwdriver or a pin punch or anything like that because you could nick your seal when you go to take it out and clean it and relube it. Uh, and which could introduce a leak. It's got a good positive control lock on it. You can hear it latch. So you got good positive control on that. You've got nice easy to use buttons on the front or on the back where your hand goes. You've got a thumb point for grabbing. Real nice finger. Really ergonomic for getting your hands to hold it one handed, take pictures. Your strap connects on this side so it would be wristed over here as well comes with a removable red filter to help do the color correcting. You can see this is machined aluminum frame around the lens with screws. Looks very sturdy. The back glass, this is pretty thick. This is not flimsy. This is this is good size uh, and I think this is going to be nice. Alright, so if we're going to go in and get this thing set up, the first thing we have to do is we have a couple settings we need to do on our phone. 
All right, now to set this up and use your phone, the first thing we have to do is we're going to go in and we're going to go into our settings. We've got a couple things we've got to do. We're going to put the phone in airplane mode first. We're going to make sure our Bluetooth stays on. Then we have to go in and put the phone on do not disturb. We want to turn that on because we don't want to get any alerts from our calendars or anything else uh, coming up on our phone. Then the last two things we have to do is we have to go into display and brightness. We have to go in and we turn true tone off and we take our auto lock and put it to never. This will allow the display to stay on for the entire duration. So the next thing we're going to do is you'll already have your Sea Life app on your phone. You download that from the App Store, that's free. We're going to open the app up. We're going to turn on the camera. When we open the app up, you'll see the camera display underneath, but you'll get a banner saying it's looking for a connection. Once you turn the, the case on, you'll get a red light, the blue light, and it'll start searching. Now you don't have to do much to do it. So you put this in place, and then it says, uh, prepare your phone and clean the, under and the underwater housing. Clean all your lenses, lube all your O-rings, insert your moisture muncher, and then you're going to close it. You'll see you have your vacuum settings, bad, good, and bad. And what you're going to do is you're going to put this together, you're going to close it. It's already connected automatically. You do not have to search it out for it on the Bluetooth. It just automatically grabs it. We're going to take the cap off, we're going to hook it up, we give it a pump, we get it to the midpoint where it says good, and then it's going to start a three minute timer countdown out for uh, checking your seal. Now the instructions tell you to put your cap back on, and we just wait. Alright, so our countdown timer is almost finished. You can see the flashing green light as it's doing its countdown timer. All right, there it says, waterproof seal is good. Start your dive. So now we're ready to roll. So um, now I will say I stopped the camera while I was doing this. I didn't think you want to stare at me for three minutes while I counted it down. And uh, I didn't pump it up enough. So I got an alert telling me that it, the vacuum was low. And so I put a little more vacuum on it, restarted the three, it, it automatically restarted the three minutes. When I did redo it, I overdid it. And it told me on the screen that it was overdone, which I'll show these displays because I'm doing a screen recording. So it showed me I was overpressured and I had to take the, the cap off and release some pressure. So now we're good to go and we're ready to go dive. Got our, our caps back on, making sure that that seal is also clean and lubricated. Now we do have some other features on here. We've got a nice um, steel bar on the bottom that's mounted with three different quarter 20 uh, camera mount holes. So you could put this on a tripod if you were above water or, or using a tripod in the water in a pool or something. Uh, or you can also use it to mount your tray. Uh, sea Life sells a tray for it uh, and then they sell a light, a dive light for it. So uh, you've got real good displays, large displays. You've got the, the modes, camera, video settings, and playback. Those are all shifted by the mode button. And then you've got up and down and OK to get into things. The top battery is your phone battery. I'm at about 50%. Your bottom battery is the battery for the housing. And then you've got your zoom, which your plus minus while you're in camera mode or video is going to give you your zoom features. You also have the Bluetooth logos showing that your phone is connected to the, yeah, to the yeah. case via Bluetooth. So you got a nice big wide screen for the record. You hit the record button. You've got a nice display, your standard display, what you're used to seeing. You've got the count timer on there for how long your video is. And then when it goes off, and you've got the same ring around the button on the phone. You go into your settings menu, and you can check your leak alarm. You've got a leak alarm on here. So here in a second, when we get ready to take this out, and I release the pressure, you'll see how the leak alarm works. So we've got our display brightness. We've got power saver. We've got background blur. You can turn background blur on or off. It's like going into portrait mode on your camera. You get a good, really nice bouquet when you're looking at your pictures afterwards if you want to get a critter and everything else uh, blurred out. Then you've got photo plus three second video. Then you've got your settings. This thing is able to capture your pictures in RAW and JPEG. We go up, we've got lens. We can change our lens from normal to dual based on the phone, so mine's can go to dual, 
Not sure what it'll do once I get to 12. And I've got the three lenses, so that'll be nice. You also have telephoto. So you've got a couple different features that you can use. And now we've got, uh, we can go into our tent. We can adjust our tent on the fly. This is incredible that you can do this kind of stuff. You can adjust your white balance. You can take it from auto, or you can change your color from 3,000 all the way down or up to 8,000. So you've got quite a bit of, uh, of capability, or you can leave it in auto and let the camera do the work for you. We've got autofocus and manual focus, and then we've got back to our, our EV settings. So we can adjust our exposure values. You can go minus three all the way up to plus three. So you do have quite a bit of control through the app. It's incredible the stuff that you can do with it. And there you go. So then you switch it back into mode. Now it's plain, and you've got the ability to delete your, future, your pictures as well. So now we're back into camera mode. So I'm pretty impressed with this so far. It's pretty beefy. I, I think I'm going to like this. Uh, I'm going to be playing with it in the pool next week when we do Dive with Santa, uh, along with my regular camera that I'll be using to take customer pictures. And then uh, after that, I'm teaching a foot, an underwater photography class on Tuesday the 22nd. It will be the classroom and pool, followed by... Uh, some late time down in Texas, uh, Martin Luther King weekend in January. So uh, if you're interested in checking this out, come by the shop. This is a special order item. The list price is $299.95. Took me about a week to get this one in. So uh, if you want to get one, there might be enough time to get it in time for Christmas. Not sure you'd have to talk to Shane. But uh, if you want to come check it out when we're doing Dive with Santa, call the shop, make an appointment. I'm happy to show it to you. And then if you're interested in the photography class, I'm happy to have you in that as well. Uh, so uh, overall, I like this a lot. I think this is going to be a good feature for, uh, for people that uh, want to travel light, don't want to carry something big like that, or even something in between. So uh, I'm really looking forward to using this. And I'm also going to have this uh, when I go down to Cozumel in January as well. So hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it informational. Uh, I'm happy to help you out if you have any other questions. Just get a hold of me at the shop. Again, my name is Greg Hinkey. I'm one of the instructors at Sharky Scuba. Thanks for watching.